All right. This is an easy combo. Oh my god, guys. This is a guaranteed win. If I don't win this, I end the stream. If I don't win this, I end the stream. Remnants, Hellhorns. They go very well together. All right, so if I don't want to end the stream, I've got my word on it. This guy's going to give me sap. He's going to sap my units, so be careful of multi-strike. All right. Intent on death. Trigger a unit's extinguish ability without killing it. And that last run, wise, we had Waxer Snuffler with zero extinguish effects. So we took a lot of things that weren't very proactive. Two Drip Falls and a Welder Helper. All righty. Let's, let's take a look at the artifacts. X cost cards, say no more. Reform a unit or burn out with good stats. Burn break. All right, let's get nice and comfortable. This is a very good combo, guys. This is a very good combo. Let's see if we still got it in us, right? I need to get some wind into my sails. <laughs> Showing some leg for a brief moment. Sassy indeed. And Torch is so good. I, I, Torch, I've missed you. Where have you been my whole life? Man, I miss Torch. Never thought I would say this. Wait, we're dying to burnout. Wait, what the? F we already lost. It's over. We're fine, guys. We're fine. Look, like, have no fear drip falls here. You know what I mean? Like, it's easy. We're totally fine. I'm just, I'm just adding, you know, I'm being dramatic. I meant what I said, guys. We're not losing this combo. Yes. Increasing the burnout is pretty effective for my guy that has burnout. Ascending units, we have ascending and descending. That's a lot of maneuverability. There we go, that's a big unit. Alright, so Tycoon versus Lady of the Form versus a big demon that I can't even play right now. I like Lady of the Form, she makes my burnout units last longer. Tycoon gives me gold. It's a tough choice. I'm privy the lady here i don't know what it is about me i don't know if it's her aunt jemima thickness but uh yeah i like her she doesn't even need to be with the lane of my champ she could just be in a mid lane with like dredges behind her all right upgrade my spells upgrade my units and get another unit Ooh. I also get gold though. Let's not forget about this gives me gold. And if I upgrade my spells, I can make some things cheaper. I also want to see what unit I get though. Oof, I'm doing this. Mainly because of the gold. Would we ever want to do Wicklash more than once? Alright guys, I have an idea. Alright, check this out. Check this out. C 
See, I don't care about spikes because my champ is 60-60. Care about spikes. It's hilarious. I've missed you sp I've missed you so much, Mr. Torch. Dave the Yoshi, how you doing, buddy? Okay. Really? Okay, we might lose. How did this happen again? Oh, wait. Oh my god, this is big brain. Big brain, check this out. Fucking massive brain. Holy brain gasm. I can also torture, true. Oh my god, okay. Okay, problem here. The map checks out, the map checks out, the map checks out. The map checks out. Okay, I need my torches. No, no, Torch is going to save me. I need my torches right now and we win. Torch. Torch. Guys, I'm sitting like a French girl in my chair. Can you guys... I want you guys to see how I'm sitting in my own chair. You guys are looking at this? Why is this my posture right now? And why is it so comfortable? Okay, we got Reform. We have Formless Child. Return a random defeated unit to your hand and enhance it with plus 40. Versus targeted reforming, which is very useful for the champion that keeps dying. <sighs> you know, this is a tough choice because from a shell, this. Wait. Wait. I have intent on death. Guys, I don't know. Intent on death could be interesting. I'm putting my stream's life on the line. AoE. Intent on death. Alright, now we've seen holdover. Right? Holdover, intent on death, formless child, bang, 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 bang. Yeah, but you need units to bring back, or otherwise it's not good. It's only as good as with how many units have died. And it doesn't increase burnout, so if you bring back a burnout unit, uh, there's problems. There's problems in my plan here. I guess Endless is really good for my shadow, so I can look for Endless here. Endless. 
Boom! Is it even good though? Nah, but she doesn't reform. She just brings back. But is it even good though? Is an endless from a salad even good? Or do we want it on multi nymph for for instance? Yes, it is. It's good. It's good, you guys. All right, now we're getting tempted on death duplicated. Plus one pip on each floor, plus three on a random floor, minus one pip on each floor, but I get magic power, so my torches do a lot of damage. It feels like plus one pip each floor. Am I wrong? Or do we go for a kill lane? Now, we go for a kill lane with the manual, and we put Lady of the House, sorry, Lady of the Reformed in front, and we have a big kill lane. Eh, I'm a flexible gamer. I like to do the real four chamber. That's, that's my strategy. That's my play style. But there is a world where you just do the random lane and then play around that. All right, let's go. Alright, 29 life and a dream. <clears throat> Alright. So, Formless Child is endless. But here's the thing. So, we put this here. Let's say I put this up here. Uh, let's do that. Beautiful. Let's let this guy die. So, we have units that are dead. And when units that are dead are units that I can bring back to life. Right? Beautiful. And there she blows. In all her glory. A 41 in 1 welder helper. You love to see it. You love to see it. I need to make her cheaper though. So, this guy's about to die, but she can come back with Formless Child. So, what I'm going to do is this. And that's going to bring back Rector Flictor, hopefully. That's the goal. Uh, why does it go from top to bottom? Ah, that's, we learned something. Top to bottom makes my sh uh, strategy complete trash. Okay, intense on death. Boom. We have a 41 and 1 unit in the back to kill the champion. Oh my god. Because they extinguish on death, they make the burnout go even higher. An 81 and 1 molten imp. Holy shit. GG. Look at that scaling. You're getting 40 strength. That's a lot of strength. Repeat all summon effects triggers so far in this battle. Uh, I think I have a cavity, guys. Mm, I gotta go to the dentist. What summon effects do we have? We have 
Molting Imp. And Welder Helper. I don't care about that. It's out of the ancients or nothing. Forced to give my Prometer the nicest neck pull the streamer in the house. Keep up the good work. Yo, thank you so much, Trill, uh, True Melchior. Appreciate it, man. More months. I'll take your primey. Ow, cavity. <clears throat> thank you, man. Kind words. Applying rate. Mm. What's up, Lunik? How you doing? All right. Energy, card draw, tip space. Energy allows me to form the shot a little bit easier. What's up, Dragus? How you doing, buddy? What do you think of the mid-set expansion of TFT? Kind of crazy, right? See, they're taking away my baby Kale. It makes me very sad. Energy allows me to do a little bit more, uh, more consistent turns. Card draw is good though, because card draw allows me to do the formless child thing quicker. If I get into the combo, then we can start popping off. So do we duplicate intent on death here? And remove some cards that are not intent on death? Nars back in, replacing kill with Riven. Duplicate intent to death, no? Should be fun? It should be fun, yeah. They've got like Vayne and, and Riven and stuff. I haven't seen everything, but yeah, it should be fun. When everybody's trash, yeah. Everybody's figuring out the patch. That's always fun. All right. I can put her here and keep my champ alive. I don't need to. It's important to let things die. Oh, Riven's Chrono Blade Master. Oh, that's sexy. Okay, we're gonna do Riven comps. It's official. We're doing Riven comps. Does RFC Riven work? Wait, does Spell Shield block? It doesn't block this. You know what we're doing, boys? Give me the gold. Alright. Wait, so how does this work? If I do this, and then this... Profit? Kill. Give me. Getting scaling, baby. Forty-nine and three, no big deal. Another thing I get a pull in the Umbra yesterday was the X card that enhances a drawn unit with X plus five damage and X caught minus cost. Got it on a multi track guy who needs fuel. Oh, the inert guy, yeah. Three hundred and fifty damage multi striker. That's crazy. Yeah, there's some craziest things that can happen in this game. Absolutely. Let's do some more scaling, you ready? Look at this dredge. The top lane's a kill lane, guys. Make no mistake about it. Top lane is a kill lane. I dodged a fell. Stuck at seven. I should just do a different combo, but I want to win with Hell's Vision. Yeah, keep, keep, keep trying to grind it out. You'll, you'll be better at the game by learning how to win with certain combos. Okay, intent on death. We had nothing dead. Uh, that's problematic. So, what do I kill to do intent on death with? What should we kill here, guys? What do you guys want to bring back to life? A welder helper? 
Boom! Sucking those apples. So I only run a combo just to beat it, and once I beat it, I'll do random random. I've been stuck on a Woken Melting Remnant. It's been kicking my ass. It's been kicking my ass. Oh, it's GG already? Say it ain't so. GG, brothers. I'm back in this posture. Guys, I don't know how I end up in this posture, but it's the most comfortable thing for this chair. I'll tell you what. But if any of you guys are artists, pick me like one of your French girls, please. Wait, do we have three intent on deaths? Is that even good? If you put Votavari in the mix, you intent on death on her, we can start getting card draw. Was this always endless or did they added that in? So Votavari is good with intent on death for card draw purposes. Take another intent that we can just keep scaling with Formless Child though. But we need units to die first. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. I have something crazy. But hear me out and let me know if I'm crazy, okay? Alright, holy shit. Alright, can I I wanna try to share what, what just went through my mind right now, okay? Sacrificial Resurrection, you make your deck smaller. You have a, a draft that has multi-strike and a lot of strength as it is, all right? But since your deck is smaller, you're drawn to Intent on Death more often. And since that draft has one burnout, it dies every turn. And since you have Formless Child, you can keep bringing it back with plus 40 strength. So now you have a unit that is plus 40, maybe so it's like 100-something multi-strike, all right? And then we have Wicklash in the deck to remove the burnout. So we can keep scaling it up like crazy. This super powerful draft. And then when we want to keep it, we put Wicklash on it. And it's 200 damage, multi-strike. I guess it dies to sweep and spikes, right? It dies to sweep and spikes. But I could hyperscale a draft. And then when I want to, I can keep it alive. And put it behind my Lady of the Reformed. The only problem is AoE, like sweep, spikes. That's it. But Formless Child on it. I, okay, I wanna try this card. I gotta do it for YouTube. Because we're also gonna win for free, anyways, right? Do 100 damage to friendly and enemy units. Summon gain 4 energy. Input in box, add 2 random imp units to your hand. Inferno is good when? I can hyper kill my own units, so then I can form the shower them faster. So I kill my units and then I can just do intent on death and form the shot, bring them all back, and have crazy big drafts almost immediately. Eh. It's like eh. I don't know. I can kill my champion with this and, and scale my champion. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right, guys, the deck's done. Let's remove everything else. I, I'm setting it up for this bad boy. Deck is done. All right. The question is: Do we duplicate another intent on death, 
Or do we remove everything that we don't care about? I agree with you guys. I agree. I'm titillated right now. I'm scintillated titillated. Oh my god. Becky, look at that alloy. I should have looked at the the event first. Removing consume could be really good from the event. Whoopsies. Oh, we're struggling with energy though. I can't actually I can't actually play piercing that often. Wait, we're actually struggling with energy. I don't want to play this more than once though, right? Eh. Sometimes I do. Before we do anything else, let's do this. Wait, that's good. I need energy. That's good. Oh, I can get the upgraded versions later. That gave me energy as well. Ah, uh, that does give me energy later on. But this gives me energy without having to wait. But then I have Ben for charge my deck. We still have X cards. We have we have help help, but no X cards cards, by the way. Sacrifice can consume the shards. Mori Buns deserves VIP. Sacrificial can remove the shards. Now, now I have a question. Does the stav? Is it contextual? Do I only get energy if I have shards currently in my deck, or is it at the beginning of battle? It's important to know. Let's find out. But the other one was giving me energy cards that would have been nice. But let's try this out. Let's try this out. Double stack. Oh my goodness. What does a man do with that much armor? You know what he does? He puts it on his draft that is susceptible to dying. Wait, I need to purge more. I don't need two drip falls. I think I remove one drip fall here. Wait, she removes my. Okay. What's up? Glad to see you rocking my strength. Just took a mini work break to get a run in. Lost to the final blast spell damage decks are tough to win with. It depends. Because if you get eight ice shenanigans or snack away, well, then you have an easy time winning. It depends. All right, guys. This is the the fight that kills her, kills us. And remember, this girl has life steal and sweep. Life steal and sweep. Okay. Sower of sorrow, and these harvesters have been kicking our ass. But this time we have so much damage. I'm not worried anymore. So, do your worst. Ah, uh, but somebody on each floor having an overcharge tank on each floor is kind of crazy because it takes some time for me to scale. But I have piercing inferno to kill them. All right, this is good. Man, see this class, this combo is so much better. There's so many things going on. The other combo, I'm struggling to just survive. This combo is nuts. Wait, should we want to do something crazy? I have a question. If I do Lady of the Reforms into Form This Child, when I do Inferno, since they die at the same time, how does this work? Do you guys know? Lady Reform for Miss Child Inferno. How does it work? Returns nothing. Okay, so here's what we do. You hear me? Rector Flicker Inferno Bot Lane. For Miss Child Top Lane. You ready? Gorgeous. Oh. 
Alright, I wanna try this. You ready? Boom! And now we're gonna scale him. Oh, wait, puts it. Oh, no, that's not how I wanted it to work. Oh, it's not purge, it's like consume, and consume is a discard thing, which actually. Oh, no, now I can't do the draft guaranteed. Oh, fuck. On top of that, we also can't get the gold in the top lane. Fuck. It needs to hit my draft. Okay, the fact that it can't hit my draft is problematic. Intent on death. There we go. There we go. We need molded. We need, we need targeted reform. This is an interesting concept. I'm slightly worried about its implications. Okay. I need to... I needed to torch my lady to keep this guy alive, but it's like at the same time as I need targeted reform. Okay, I didn't expect the consume to work like that, so that was just a learning experience for me. That's all. Intent on death. Hit the draft. Okay. Okay. Where's intent on death? Check this out. Booyakasha! Sorry, I'm getting excited. It worked out though. Like everything worked out in that situation. Perfectly. Nice. This is a cool combo, man. I just need to finesse it a little bit. I need to finesse it to, to make up for the fact that I forgot that consume was a thing that is a discard pile, basically. Okay. This is AoE damage for all the number of depths in the battle, which I'm, I have quite a bit. So this AoE could be useful, yeah? Sometimes? Or is it just a skip? Yeah, Loki, we'll, we'll think of some, some some channel points for this game. We'll think about it. Um, if you have some ideas, let me know. We can put some, some channel point rewards. It does not remove burnout. No, we tried that early on. It doesn't remove burnout. That is a very cool art, though. I, I like how it hits the, ham the hammer hits the nail there. I feel like Fatal Nothing could be useful. Less cards. 
We need targeted reform, right? Ascended unit, applied days. I feel like that's useful. Like, days is a very useful skill, yeah? To keep my... Less cards. Choose next clan combo. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, more removal and upgrade spells. We're supposed to be on upgrade at this point. Intent on death. Sacrificial resurrection. And we can remove what? What do we even remove at this point? The dredges? Then we're running low on units. That's not good. So maybe we go for artifact then? There is multiplayer in this game, so we could do a setting to get 1v1 in Monster Train, because there's time races, there's challenges, so we can do some 1v1 stuff in Monster Train. Well, I'm going to say the worst combo is the combo I'm still struggling to win with, which is Awoken Remnant. And we still have to tackle that. You want to do some decision? I could do decision next, yeah. Okay. If you want, there's some decision stuff on YouTube if you haven't seen them. Okay. Upgrade units. I could upgrade the... Nah, uh, it's always, it's always this. It's always this. Ah, uh, but maybe this is the artifact. Maybe it's just the artifact there. Yeah, of course. Uh, honestly, I would rather switch. I, I just don't like how bulky these are. Oh, nice. Oh, hell yeah. How do we win Awoken Remnant? Remove on the clan's units cards altogether. Yeah, probably, yeah, huh? Some of the cards don't work well, exactly. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Up here's our permafrost. So, I can hold on to this when I'm ready to use it. That sounds really good. Make a spell, ch a a spell cheaper. Well, at this point, it's like... Most of these units are going to be... Like, gone, right? I'm going to save my money. I'm saving my money here. Wait, most of my things are going to be... I don't have enough units. My deck's small, but I actually don't have enough units. Uh, this is a little bit weird, but... Okay, if it works out, it works out beautifully, okay? In fact, if we move all our units except for the dredge... If we remove all the units there for the draft, then we might have a crazy deck, but it might be too, like, one-dimensional. Rector Flicker. Ultimate Penance. Lady of the House. Put a little Dredger. And Dripfall. So what does she do? She does... Summons these units. Yeah, I really need Wickless Recruitment. If I get that unlocked, then we are in the clear. Who wants the Aloe here? I also kind of want to keep units, though. We kind of want to keep units or cards that we don't care about so we can actually do the draft creation. So, the, actually, this is perfect because she gives me Blights and then I can use these Blights to consume. So for instance, if in this hand I got the um Sacrificial Resurrection, this would be an amazing time to do Sacrificial Resurrection because I get a huge draft, but I only discard one unit. So then when I use Endless Child or Formless Child, I'm less likely to hit a dredge or for instance, right? So there's a lot of things that are happening here. My my guy's gonna die, which is actually quite good. Because I could bring him back now. You know, if you have the Umber Champ with two pips on a summon and you bring him back with Remnant cards, you can hack yourself. Really?
Alright, we have our Dref. Formless Child time. Wait, where's Formless Child? Yikes. Uh, yikers. Double intent on death and no formless child. We need formless child and double intent on death, not the other way around. There she blows. Inert multis for getting like plus four marshals to turn. Yeah, Umbra's insane, man. Like I said, I think Umbra's the easiest to win with because, uh. She does stupid things. Alright, intent on death now. Beautiful. Make top lane my kill lane. I should play Alloy though. Yeah, I intended to really use Holdover. If I get Holdover intent on death, it'd be massive. Wow, that guy stayed alive. Ouch. Is another sacrificial? Mm. Is Toppling gonna be my kill lane? Millions gonna be my kill lane. Millions my kill lane. Unfortunately, he dies to burnout. I need to put armor on my dredge. If I put armor, it's game over. Anyways, you win. With flying colors. And GG. Just to, just to like rub it in, check this out, check this out. Ready? Boom! A draft that doesn't get to do anything because it has one burnout. But, if I did the order differently, that would have been a 3 burnout draft 100 times 2. It's pretty sick. Okay, card draw is necessary, yeah? Okay, Bounty Stalker with Intent on Death. Let's talk about it, and then let's ignore it, right? Okay, but what about a second alloy, just to have some armor? Just to keep my unit alive, just in, you know, tight situations. Okay, what about reinforce with the alloy that I have currently? So my alloy does 50 armor. If I do reinforce, I can do 100, 200. You guys get the picture. Eh, I think our deck's doing other things. So it's another alloy is pass. I'm leaning pass. Stalker's too late, guys. Stalker, we're about to beat the game. Stalker's too late. But if I had Stalker earlier, that would have been kind of cool. The second alloy is or it's pass. Card draw is really important here. Because we get a lot of energy from the Blights. Card draw is super important. Oh my god, I can't stress how important it is. Do I want Pyre Health? Upgrade spells? We really want to get hold over on Intent on Death, right? We are like dying for that. 
But it's also a cavern. What what can cavern be? We still don't have any x cost cards. And I don't really have any removal targets at this point. Maybe I can remove the dregs. I really need better removal targets. We really want to make an end of death holdover. But there might be some interesting artifacts that I don't know about. And if I go take a look at these trinkets, I will be pleasantly surprised. Moving these rex is weird though, because I actually need those units. Alright. No trinkets for us. Hold over. So we have two armored things that don't consume. I want to save my money. I don't want that. Hold over. That's nuts. That's a lot of armor, dude. I don't know how good that really is, actually, though. But if I do this, I don't actually have... Enough units in the deck. I don't have holdover. Alright, I need 400 coins because I need to, I need to bu buy trinkets. End game, I need to get some really big trinkets and just win the game. So, what do these guys do? They give multi strike. You know what's cool about this card, guys? You can trigger an extinguish ability on an enemy, for instance, to hit your Lady of the Reformed to give it one more burnout. Flexible. I didn't take the trial? Alright, I retire. I, I didn't think I was going to go bald early, but after this, I might just be molded. Uh, yeah. Whatever. It's only 400 coins, no big deal. No big deal. I don't like to care about 400 coins. Only 400 coins to buy artifacts. Wait, can you leave and come back? Can I restart and get the trial? Or does it, or when I when I science, is it the fight already started? Cause my soul, my heart, and my mind all wanted the trial. So it's a misclick. Let's try it. Ah, fuck me. Well, the intention was there. It's okay. Only 400 coins. Okay, intent on death. Boom! Shakalaka bang bomb. Yo, this is a sick deck. One dead sacrifice for resurrection, though. I should do it at some point, right? AKA now.
Do I want my guy to die with Inferno so that I could... Um... Oh, Lady of the Reform died. No, 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 no. You come back to life right now. Okay, the goal of the, the card that I have called Sacrificial Thing is supposed to get rid of Blights, and I should exclusively use it for Blights. The way that I've been using it, it hasn't been for Blights. Okay, what does this boss do again? What does this boss do? I totally forgot. What does this boss have? Anybody remember? It's got trample. It's got trample. Mid lane is the kill lane. Mid lane is the kill lane. Ah, uh, I need to kill the back guy. How the fuck did that happen? I gave my unit more strength and I did less overall damage or did I or unless, my, unless I looked at that wrong that was weird yes we needed it we needed to make a blaze right like targeted reform we needed this we're trying to random consuming spell through your hands okay we consume a lot of spells so impish scholar could bring back Yes! Oh, this thing is so cute, man! Oh god, I'm gonna- I wish I had the 400 gold. If I got the 400 gold, the shrinkage shot would be huge. What do we duplicate here at this point? Did we duplicate more intent on death? What do we duplicate? What do we duplicate? What do we duplicate here? She's gonna sap my units. What do I duplicate? I want more, um...
Get two draft lanes. If I get two draft lanes, this app is not as bad. Double ladies. Before I do that. Large stone. Uh, nope. Heartstone. That's, that's worse. Making Formish Child... Making Formish Child healthier is worse for it, right? These are good units for Lady, but Lady's already slotted out. Making her healthy... Making this guy healthier is worse for me, yeah? Almost... Almost... Uh, equivocally? Or unequivocally? That's the wrong word. Almost... Ubiquitously? <laughs> Universally? Which are not very good upgrades. Is this okay? We want trinkets anyways, right? That's the whole goal? You're kidding me. Guys, it's all come together. It's all we cared about. Let's go! Waxer Snuffler. You see, this is what happens when you play a combo that is not a bad combo. Good things happen. We didn't use the X-Cost cards at all. Uh, what do we, at this point, what do we get rid of? What would we purge? Let me take a look. I can give Dredge more life, I guess. What's up, YouTube? Hey, say hi, YouTube. Motor Strike guy I create in battle. And Motor Strike guy doesn't exist in my deck. Alright guys, pucker up. Let's get some water. This is the difference. I'm gonna put it on record. Awoken Remnant is hard. I didn't magically get that much better at the game. That's just a hard combo. It's official. Okay, so I have a couple ideas. Ready? If I do Welder Helper, then form this child. Alright, uh, let's take a look. Is it worth it? Like, you got the crazy combo, but you can't utilize it, you know? Hmm. Uh, we can just like leave it here for now. It doesn't. We don't have to like do intent on death already. Like it's okay. Whatever. Sometimes in life. Sometimes in life. All right. Alright, you want to set up a second Lady of the Reformed in the bot lane, maybe? So I can focus a quick clash on somebody else, or second Lady of the Reformed in the mid lane. Now, so, okay. Music's intense. You guys hear this music? Whoa. Stream dead for you? You should ref tell Someone tell them to refresh. Someone tell them to refresh. Boom! A hundred armor like it's nothing. I 
I need to do Infernal on this lane. I need to do Infernal on that lane. So we need to draw into Inferno. Inferno, Inferno, Inferno. Where's Inferno? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sacrifice Resurrection is fine because Because I can bring the consume stuff back with Impish Scholar, right? That guy is getting plus 90? Plus 90 is a problem. Infernal top lane. Like infernal this lane or infernal top lane? Top lane is rough. Because this lane's fine. Easy. It's so easy. But what's important that we do here now is I can keep my draft alive. Now, Look at my imps. Stop sapping me, please, sir. Please stop sapping me. Not playing Formless Child is uh, problematic. The sap is also kind of rough here. Mm. In front of Tablin again. Alright, I need Formless Child now to do Intent on Death. But as you guys realize, I can't do such a thing. Yeah, they sat in like crazy. I can't do intent on death here. Uh, no, not being able to do intent on death is problematic. <sighs> Very problematic, actually. Because mm, Formish Child is my whole deck. And since I didn't get to do Formish Child double intent on death, I might lose this run. Formishal needs to come now. I can make a really big draft here. Alright.
I'm trying to keep my draft alive, but it didn't skill that much. Draft has not skilled that much. From Michelle needs to come ASAP. But the fact that I didn't play my child, I need to play my child every single turn. Mm. Child needs to be played every single turn. Alright, we have intent on death though. Okay, wait, do I do Infernal now? Okay, how do I play this? This is a very big turn. Inferno now and then Fulmish Child Intent on Death? Let's go! Woo oh, that was sick! It wasn't really a top deck. My deck was very small. I drew from the shot a little late. But I guess whatever, top deck. And when you had double extinguish, you draw your whole cards. I was, I was sick. Super sick. So we win when we don't play Awoken Remnant. So that just means it's challenging. And that's why I want to conquer it, guys. Because Awoken Remnant is challenging. And this was a very cool run. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 136 amp helped a lot. Absolutely. The scaling in general was great.